part two of healthy eating made easy. So we're gonna continue talking about prep because it is the way that you're gonna find your best success with eating healthy. So if you don't have a plan, then you're planning to fail. Have you ever heard that? Well, it is really true. So that is the number one tip is make sure you have a plan. Make sure you know what you are going to be eating throughout the week. It doesn't have to be exact. You can modify it. You can include stuff you already have in your cupboards. So you have, but you still have to have that general plan, at least a general plan, knowing that you're going to have chicken so many days or fish or beef. You need to know this information. It's really, really important for you to be successful at having healthy meals throughout the week. So I recommend sitting down and making that plan. And I am going to be providing you with a sheet that will break it down for the seven days of the week and the different meals that you're going to be having. So you can fill it out and go, okay, so for breakfast, this is what I'm gonna have. For lunch, this is what I'm gonna have, and so forth for the, that day. And you, maybe you wanna repeat a few of those meals throughout the day, or pardon me, throughout the week. That's fine too, but you need to be prepared for that. Make sure that you have enough ingredients on hand so that you're not scrambling going, oh, I didn't have enough oatmeal, so I can't have oatmeal on my, my breakfast for this morning. Um, you just don't want that. The second tip is scheduling when you go to the grocery store and when you do your meal prep. Because once you get home and you put your groceries away, how many times have you forgotten that you had that particular vegetable? Because when you bought it, you were gung-ho, yeah, I'm gonna have that asparagus, and it gets in the fridge and you don't use it because you forgot about it. But if you prep it so that it's ready to be cooked, you don't necessarily have to cook it, just have it ready to be cooked in a clear container, you're gonna see that it's there. So you're prepared for it. You've got that visual aid when you go into your fridge that, oh, there's the asparagus I was gonna have with my eggs for Wednesday's breakfast. That kind of thing. Um, so what usually happens is we put it in the fridge and we forget about it and we're like, oh, I'll do that in a bit. Oh, I'll do that in a bit. But in a bit doesn't always come and you, can risk wasting food and you don't want food to be wasted, especially with the price of food these days. So that's tip two, make sure that you're doing your prep work or some of your prep work when you get back from the grocery store. So number two is if it's working, why are you changing it? keep it. So if you know that members of your family aren't going to like to eat roasted vegetables that are pre-cooked because they just don't really care for roasted vegetables, then you don't want to do that because then again, you're wasting food, aka you're wasting money. So if you know that they like to have their vegetables easily and accessible for snacks, have it cut up so that they can just go grab some and have some crunchy carrots or cucumbers instead of having chips. And having that, the diff, knowing the difference between whether or not it is, you know, are they going to like this vegetable prepared or this vegetable prepared is a huge difference between whether or not you can maintain eating healthy and it's gonna be easy for you, right? Because I know I hate it when I prepare something and it doesn't all get eaten, even if it's my own fault. <laughs> you know, because I didn't go back and eat it 
the next day or a few days later. I got busy, forgot about it being in the fridge and because it wasn't in a clear container, I couldn't see it to get that visual reminder. It is like, <laughs> but I'm sure you understand what I'm saying on that because it happens to all of us. So also know too that when it comes to figuring out what works and what doesn't work for your family, it's okay to experiment and see which ways they like their chicken. Not everybody likes baked chicken or roasted chicken or a stir fry. You have to experiment with it to see what flavors they're gonna like, what flavors you like, how you like it to be cooked. Do you like it spicy hot? Do you like it spicy flavorful? Or do you like it really simple so you're just tasting that vegetable or that meat? Those are things that have to be experimented with. I do it all the time and it's either a hit or a miss. And I know it's a miss because of how my husband's reaction is. He'll like, if he likes it, he's like, this is good, we'll do it again. If it's not so great, he's like, it was okay. But did you like it? It was okay. So learn what their cues are too through the experiments. Once you figure that out, you've got it made. Half the battle is gone. So the fourth and final tip for this segment is make it a priority to have some kind of plan that you have the prepping done. Even if you don't go and buy your groceries that day that you make the plan for the week, as long as you have that plan, even if it is a very general plan, as long as you have that, then you're setting yourself up for success, that you're building that habit. So if you make that, say Saturday morning, you sit down and go, okay, what am I gonna want to eat for next week? And you make your general plan, you grab your groceries on Saturday or Sunday, you know, you're still going through those motions, getting that habit in place. And that's like one of the biggest things is making it a habit. So you go back to it week after week after week and you have the success and healthy eating becomes easy because you have all the ingredients in your house. You have some or all of it ready to go or you have pre-cooked a lot of it or some of it and you have it saved in the fridge or in the freezer for you know the next few days or for next week when you know that coming up you're gonna have a busy week and you're not gonna be able to do as much so those are the tips so just recapping really quickly so number one tip is to make sure that you have a plan. Have it a general plan or specific. It's really what's gonna work for your schedule. Make sure that you stick to a schedule where you get your groceries and you prep some of your food so it's ready to go and you're not procrastinating. Tip three, again, figure out what works for your family. If it works, continue to do it. If it doesn't work, tweak it a little bit, modify it, make it work for your family. And the fourth and final tip for the day is make it a priority to make your plan and execute it in the level that works for you, whether it's a detailed plan or an overview plan, make it work for you make it a priority. I hope that you found that these tips are helpful and they're bringing you value and I hope you have a good night.